All right. So just yesterday, Lovable just announced Lovable Cloud. And now you can create full stack apps with all the production level features like authentication, database, file storage, and even AI integration all directly within Lovable. So all thanks to Lovable Cloud, you don't have to fiddle around and play around with all these third party tools anymore. Basically, Lovable will pretty much take care of everything. And again, this right here is the official website of Lovable. And as you can see, here we have a badge that says introducing Lovable Cloud. So I'll click on the same. So it says backend infrastructure and AI intelligence ready in one prompt. No configuring integrations, no setup hassle, all in Lovable. So up until now, if you wanted to, let's say, add authentication, database or file storage to your app, when you build something using Lovable, you had to use Superbase, right? So you have to go to your Superbase dashboard, create a new project, then give it a password and set it up. And after that, you'll have to come back to Lovable, then connect to your Superbase account, select the project, and you had to go through a lot of setup process. Well, all thanks to Lovable Cloud, you don't have to do it anymore. In just a single click, or you can just give a prompt asking Lovable to incorporate authentication or database into the project and hit enter. And now Lovable itself will take care of doing everything for you. And one of my favorite features has to be the direct AI integration. For example, let's say you're building an AI powered app or an app that uses AI like LLMs in some way or the other. Now, up until now, you had to go and sign up for an account on OpenAI or Gemini or Anthropic, and then you'll have to copy your API key, come back to Lovable, paste it in. That was how you would normally add an LLM to your app, right? Well, you no longer have to do that. As you can see, here it says Lovable AI, add an LLM to your app just by prompting, build AI native products with Lovable, no coding experience required, and we handle all the AI complexity so you don't have to. And as you can see, it is powered by Google Gemini and OpenAI. So it says get built and running just by prompting in Lovable, no managing API keys or manual setup, it just works. So you just have to tell the AI, okay, I just want to use Google Gemini AI model, a specific AI model, or let's say a specific AI model from OpenAI and hit enter and Lovable will automatically incorporate the same into your app. And once everything is done, of course, you can directly publish and make the app live. And for the next seven days, as you can see, Lovable AI is by default powered by Google Gemini and free for one week for all users. And now to test it out, I'll quickly open Lovable. And let's just say I want to build a AI powered image generation app that uses Nano Banana under the hood. So all I have to do is to just give a prompt and now the AI will handle pretty much everything. So Lovable will take care of adding authentication database and even incorporating the AI model and generate images. And I'll give a prompt, build a AI powered image generator app where users can enter a prompt and hit enter and our website will generate a image and gives the users the option to download it. Plain simple one. And now I'll click on the send button. So it says I'll create a stunning AI image generator app with modern gradient driven design. Here's my vision. So here's the design inspiration features design system. And now there you go. It says let me enable lovable cloud first for the AI backend and then build the beautiful uh, app. So it says enable cloud. And it says complete backend and AI models out of the box. So built in backend that includes database storage, authentication and backend logic. Then add an LLM to your app and again free to start pay as you scale. And it also says this can't be undone once enabled. All right. Sounds good. So I'll click on this allow option. It says perfect lovable cloud is now active and let me enable AI capabilities and build your image generator. And it also explicitly says that Google models free until October 5th. So for the next uh, five or six days it's completely free to use so now let me create the edit functions for image generation and build the beautiful ui and as you can see lovable has started working on the same and since we are actually using lovable cloud under the hood it will automatically provision a database and add authentication take care of file storage and even integrate uh, the api in this case i believe it is going to be nano banana so it will automatically add the ai model for generating image and it will take care of pretty much everything so now all you gotta do is to sit back and relax while the AI does its thing. And in the meantime, let me quickly take a second to talk about our sponsors for today's video, Omniscient. Running an online store means one thing, staying connected with your customers. And that's where Omniscient comes in. It's an all-in-one email and SMS marketing platform specifically built for e-commerce. And here's the crazy part. Omniscient users see more results with less efforts. For example, automated emails like card recovery and order confirmation makes up a huge chunk of revenue yet takes almost no time to set up. That's efficiency at its best. With Omniscient, you're not just limited to emails. You get SMS, push notifications, and even AI-powered tools that help you write content, build segments, test subject lines, 
all from one simple dashboard. And yes, it works seamlessly with all big platforms like Shopify, WooCommerce, Wix, WordPress, and even BigCommerce. To quickly get started, all you have to do is to click the first link in the description below and sign up for a new account. And once logged in, you can quickly create a new campaign by giving details like the subject line, name, language, etc. And you can even let AI write everything for you. Yes, Omnison even comes with AI integration too. Next step, select a template that you would like to use and customize it using Omnison's intuitive editor. Once done, you can make the campaign live with just a single click. And here's my favorite feature, automation workflow. So if you move to the automation tab, you'll be able to create workflows for abandoned cart or checkout, order confirmation, order follow-up and product reviews and much, much more. And not just this, you can even configure Omnison for sending SMS and push notifications as well. So indeed, it is an all-in-one platform. And now if you do want to use Omnison, click the first link in the description below and definitely make sure to check out Omnison. Now back to the video. All right. So it seems like the app is ready and even before I start using the app, I must say the UI of the app sucks. It's terrible to be honest. And it says what's powered by cloud. So AI image generation uses allowable AI and specifically Google Gemini's nano banana model. All right. So backend functions, no API keys needed. And towards the center, I can find a input box asking us to describe the image and then press enter to generate. All right. So, okay. So I want to generate an image. For example, let's say I want to generate an image of, let's say, an elephant flying an airplane. So I can go ahead and say an elephant flying a airplane. Let's see what happens or let's see what AI generates. And now I'll click on the generate button. It says generating, creating your masterpiece. All right. So let's wait. All right. So there you go. This right here is a photo of an elephant flying an airplane. And it is actually really good, right? Good one. Okay. And next up, let's just say a futuristic sci-fi city in a post-apocalyptic world. Let's say generate and let's see. All right. So there you go. Here we have the image ready. And now you might be wondering one thing, right? How exactly, I mean, who exactly is going to pay for the image generation? So the thing is that right now we are using Google Gemini's Nano Banana AI model. And of course it is a paid model and you'll have to pay for it, but it is free until October 6th. But we are actually using Laubel AI to incorporate Google's Gemini Nano Banana AI model. And after the promotional period, it will be paid, right? So after the free period is over, you will be billed. So Laubel will be directly billing you for the usage. So since you don't have to get a direct API key from the provider, instead you're actually using it via Laubel AI and everything will be charged to your allowable bill. So if your users uses a lot of these AI powered features and generates a lot of images or uses LLM, all these usages will now be part of your allowable AI bill. So that is basically how it works. And now we have the basic version of the app working. Next up, let's just ask the AI to add authentication. So right now, pretty much anyone can access and use our app. So I'll ask the AI to add authentication into our app. Could you please add full fledged user authentication into the app? and make sure that only authenticated people are allowed to use the app and hit enter and let's wait for it. So it says I'll add full authentication with login and sign up flows, protect the main page and add a logout button. So let's wait for it. All right. So user authentication is in place. So first of all, I'll click on the sign up option and let's enter an email, a password and click on sign up creating account. Okay. All right. It seems like we are now logged in. We can find a logout button and now let me try to log in using the exact same email and password and let's see if it goes through. All right. So it works. Okay. So we have authentication in place and next up, if I click on this cloud icon towards the top, I'll be able to manage all the database user settings and all that. So right now we don't really have any database in our app, but we have configured a uh, user sign up or let's say authentication. And if I click on auth settings, there you go. Email. That is allow users to sign in with their email address. We have phone and Google options as well. All right. So that looks good. And again, you can configure your authentication settings in here. And so right now we have one user that we just signed up and you can find that in here. And as of now, we don't really have any database tables or storage, right? Maybe we can modify the app such that we want to, let's say, okay, every time after the user generates an image, we want to store the same into a storage solution. And also we want to create a new route called as history, basically a history page. And the user should be able to go to the history page and see all the images that the AI has generated. So it will be like a truly full stack app, right? So I'll say, 
So right now we are not storing the images that the user has generated. Next up, I want you to create a slash history page and every time after the user generates our image, we need to store that in a database and also a storage solution and then list all the images in the history page and the user should be given the option to download the same. A basic prompt and now I'll click on the send button and let's wait for it. So it says I'll create a history page with database storage for image metadata and storage bucket for actual image. And here we can find the SQL that the AI is about to run to create all the required tables and storage buckets. And now all I got to do is to click on this allow button right here. Okay, so it says approved action. Let's wait for it. Well, there you go. It says created slash history page with database and storage integration. Generated images are now automatically saved and can be viewed, downloaded or deleted from the history page. So if I head over to the cloud section again, as you can see here we have a database table called as image generation and it has all these columns like id user id prompt image url storage path and if i go to storage there you go here we have a storage bucket as well all right sounds good so let's try to generate an image a person working on a laptop from a cafe i'll click on generate and let's see here we have a photo of a person working from a cafe and now moment of truth if i go to history page there you go. Here we have the image, we have the delete option and we also have the download option. And if I click on this cloud icon right here and if I go to image generation, I can find the entry in here. And if I go to storage, generated images, there you go. Here we have the generated image as well, 1.4 megabytes. Looks good. And you can find all the edge functions that you have active within your project in the edge function section right here. And here we can also find all the secrets that we have. So basically, Laubble Cloud is actually powered by Superbase. It's just that you no longer have to directly, let's say, interact with Superbase anymore. So Laubble takes care of all these things and it abstracts away the, you know, configuration part. Laubble is still using Superbase under the hood and Laubble will take care of pretty much doing everything like adding authentication database, configuring everything, creating edge functions, storage solutions. So you just have to tell AI that you want to implement this kind of a feature and hit enter. And now Laubble will itself do it. So earlier we had to go to Superbase, create a new project, get the credentials and then link it to Laubble. And we had to go through that initial configuration process, right? Now with all thanks to Laubble Cloud, you no longer have to do it. So that is basically the idea. And again, if I go to the log section right here, I'll be able to find the exact same log that you can find in Superbase. And as you can see, here it says Superbase. All right, and next up, if I want to view the code, I can click on this code option and view all the code for this app. And once everything is done, if you want to make this app live, well, all you gotta do is to click on this publish button towards the top and you can give it a name and hit publish. And this way, you'll be able to directly make the app live on the internet and pretty much anyone can access it. So that's all for the new Laubble Cloud feature. So in short, you can just prompt and integrate AI features, let's say for example, a LLM and also all production level features like authentication, database, APIs, storage, buckets, and all that will be taken care of by Laubble Cloud moving forward. So that is basically the idea. And for the next few days, Laubble Cloud is completely free and you can add various AI features into your app completely for free. And even the usage is completely free. And now that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. And if you do want to try it out the new Laubble Cloud, just click the first link in the description below and head over to laubble.dev, sign up for a new account and you can start using it right away. And now, yeah, I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.